I got a call from Philip. It sounds urgent, so I'm going to go and then come back. We, I'll, okay, I'll see you again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. A bit of fatherly advice, okay? Mm-hmm. Why don't you stay away from Jeffrey? There are plenty of other available men in town, you know. I actually have had my eye on uh, this one particular fellow, but we have a, a bit of history, so I wasn't quite sure if I should make a move or not. Well, I say go for it. I mean, you deserve to be happy. And all you have to do is figure out what you want. I'm trying. I love you. Thanks. I love you too. <laughs> okay. See you later. What are you doing here? I came to see you. Good. And now that you have, goodbye. Cassie's out of town getting some R&R. The children are gone. Who am I bothering? Me. And more important, you're the reason Cassie's out of town in the first place. I hope she's all right. What the hell do you care how she is? Look, I know this sounds a little strange, but I do care about Cassie. She could have executed me on that cliff, and she didn't. Do you know what it's like to stare down the barrel of a gun and know that any second the last things you see could be the last things you see? Cassie didn't pull the trigger. No. You and Jeffrey are the only things that stopped her. Do you think she had some sudden crisis of conscience? No, she wanted me dead, Edmund. I'm very thankful for the second chance, and I was just hoping to take something good from the whole ordeal. Really? What would that be? Forgive me if I didn't make myself clear at every point, but I'm off limits too. <laughs> I didn't mean I wanted you that way. Although I am offended you aren't a little, little bit interested. Goodbye, Dinah Mahler. Oh, we don't have a sense of humor. That's okay. That's all right. I want to thank you just the same. For what? Cassie could have killed me, but you convinced her not to. Actually, I was resisting the urge to root for her to pull the trigger. What with the trial that would ensue and the children to think about? Well, committing murder can do a whole lot to a girl. Yes, well, look what it did to you. I'm better now. Now that I've met you. You've gotten to know me and you've seen the real me and you've accepted that. Just like I've gotten to know you. We would both do whatever it took to protect the people we love. And you would do whatever it took to keep Cassie safe. Dinah, blackmail can be a very nasty business, especially with someone like me. So, word of the wise, be careful. If you push me, I'll push back twice as hard. Is that why you think I'm here, to blackmail you? I think you've just admitted as much. <laughs> I'm playing you? Come on, Edmund. I know what you think of me, that I'm a liar, a cheat, a blackmailer. You were kind to me, but I don't think you're a sucker. Dinah, I've been a sucker my whole life. And you've seen me at one of my low points. True. Jeffrey O'Neill is lucky to be alive. Well, I dragged him out of the fire at any rate. Well, he really wouldn't need any saving if you hadn't cracked him over the head. Fine, fine. So when do you break the story? What makes you think I'm going to do that? You're just biding your time, aren't you? Seeing what you can get for your continued silence? No. Edmund, you and I are muy simpatico. I get you. And you're one of the only people in this town that gets me. At least my dark side. Because you have one, too. What are we doing here? I think we're bonding. Why? I don't know. It's what people do. Not us. Uh, we have more in common than you'd like to admit. Which means less to me than I possibly can. Pursue thy conquest, Dinah. Do your worst. Cassie and I will be prepared. You have a flair for the dramatic. Has anybody ever told you that? Bye. Mr. 
still here? I'm still here because it sounds awfully silly, but I'm afraid to move. It's the strangest sensation. I just... It's like someone walking over my grave. And you say I have a flair for the dramatic. It'll pass. I'll be on my way. Aren't you afraid to get this close? I faced worse. Don't be so sure. You know, you were right. What you said earlier. We do have something in common. We'll both do anything we have to to protect ourselves and the people we love. Have you ever wondered how, how far you'd go? Unfortunately, I don't have to wonder. You're not going to make this easy, are you? For me to get close? Close to me? No. No. That's not going to happen. That's completely off the table. So why don't you tell me what you want, and I'll respond with what you're likely to get. I'd like to be your friend. I don't think either one of us knows what a friend is. Anything else? That night at the barn, what happened with Jeffrey, that will stay our secret. Cassie will never know how close you came to killing him. And why am I supposed to believe that? Well, there's no way I can prove that I won't rat on you, Edmund, but I think we need to trust each other. Yes, I suppose we do. The road to trust is a long one. And that road for us will be the road not taken. I'll hold my breath. Don't. And just so we're clear, stay away from Cassie. And stay away from our family. If you do, we'll coexist. If you don't... Hey, listen. Like I said, we have to start somewhere. Good luck on your pending nuptials. I'm not so bad once you get to know me. You have nice hands. You're soft and strong. The staying away can begin now. I won't press my luck. Isn't that pretty much all you do? 